Hello everybody. Today we will be talking about the course, elective course named Foundation Engineering. So this course is teach we teach you how can we design a foundation of maybe a building, a dam, a, an embankment. So so in this semester you will study about three design courses. So in this course, the lecture material will provide you in the Google Classroom. So I will, I will post you for the YouTube, the textbook, the handouts, everything will, will be in Google Classroom because it's quite, difficult, quite easy to communicate. When I post the new things in, in the classroom, maybe they will update to you by your email. The course content of the foundation engineering composed of first the first week is only introduction. Second week I will talking about site investigation and after the third go run we come we come to teach you about the shallow foundation and the next is the settlement analysis. After midterm exam they will Dr. Pond the same will teach you about the pipe foundation and Dr. Warat will teach about the retaining structure. And the last part, we're talking about introduction to ground improvement. Ground improvement is that it, it teach you how can we improve the ground, such as if the ground is not steep enough or strength of the ground is low, so we have to improve the ground to see what's going on. So according to this course, this year is the online course. So we don't have the midterm exam. So that means we have only the final exam and the score it come from the two parts. Oh, oh, sorry, it come from three parts. The final exam is about forty percent. We will set it up after we after the cross. So for the quiz it's about thirty percent. The quiz is might be uh, it might be an online quiz or an is the the quiz you can do by yourself at home and also we have some assignments and projects about 30 percent so that's mean you can see it, it, it here it's quite important for you because this one is about 60 percent so that's mean you you got about this one about 40 percent you you will pass this subject already is that clear so you have to try the easy way to pass this this part you have to submit everything on time if late maybe the score will be reduced at least 20 to 30 percent and the assignment online assignment in my idea is not difficult it's quite easy same as the clip that you watched on the youtube the components of this course composed of three parts. The first one is the lecture material will be provided to you in the Google Classroom. Handout, PDF, and quick video in Google Classroom. Or maybe some appointment, maybe if you have any kind of question, maybe the lecturer will, will provide you a live session by the Zoom. If you post in the Google Classroom also, you can attend to ask the question that you need or you have not clear about the lecture. So the other part is about the assignment. We will provide you to you in LEB2. Because you have this year we have a lot of students. If we post in the Google Classroom as an assignment, it's quite difficult to check. And also the quiz of this subject will be in LEB2. So please check and submit in LEB2 submit as the PDF in LV2 and after that I will try to check and give you a score. Okay, it does clear about this one. Okay, so beyond of the how can you get A for my subject, I will talking a little bit is the introduction of this subject. Because the first week according to the schedule we have to talking a little bit about the foundation and after the class I will give you assignment number one. So, what is the reason that we need the foundation? Because when you construct something, maybe such as the building, uh, high rise building, a house, and so on, we have we have the wedge itself. We have to transfer the stress 
to the ground. The stress is come from two components. The first one is from superstructure. What is superstructure? Superstructure is the bridge, and the building is so called superstructure. You have to transfer the load to the ground. Okay? If the soil is not steep enough, we have to extend the load to the ground deeper. We call pie foundation. Or somehow we, we, if we construct the road on the ground, okay, the road on the ground, maybe if the ground, the strength of the ground is not enough, they might get some kind of failure to our road. So we have to calculate what, how much our bearing capacity. So this one is so called superstructure. And the other one is so called earth structure. So let's make some conclusion about the structure that we had to decide for its foundation. The first one that I mentioned before, the first one is the building. Okay, we should have the foundation around here. We construct a road, a road embankment, or they have the slope to put the fuel on this or if you like to construct something really far from the shore we call offshore foundation we have the pie foundation around here is, is that clear or if we construct the dam that mean we increase the load to your ground you have to check the stability of the load and, and also the deformation of your dam in somehow it's not only we increase the stress on the ground, some cases we just remove the stress or reduce the stress to the ground. Yeah, we remove this. That means the stress will be reduced. Some cases you made some your investment. We remove the stress. And generally we remove the soil that we decrease the stress. So that means for the foundation, you have to decide for the stress increment and you have to decide for stress reduction also. So you check whether the stability of your structure is enough or not, or the limit that it passed or not. We'll be talking about this one later on. And for example, if, if you would like to, you have the soil around here and you compress it, the soil will deform, something like that, if the stress increase. On the other hand, if the stress reduces, the soil will deform, soil will be swell, the volume will increase. So how can we know how much of the deformation of the soil we have to calculate from is material properties. From material properties, you study from soil mechanics. What is material property of soil? We have strength, we have free, we have cohesion, we have SU. This one is from soil mechanics. If some guy, if your guys forget about this one, please go back to read a book on the soil mechanics. For the deformation, the young madras. C, 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 R, C, V. If you forget about this parameter, please go back to read from soil mechanics because we have to use this number. The type of the foundation we can classify into two types of the foundation. The first one is so called shallow foundation, second one is deep foundation. The difference is not shallow or deep, it depends on the soil resistant. If you see from the shallow, the shallow foundation, they have resistance around here. It's so called bearing. And for, for the friction, 
for the pie we have friction and not only the friction we have the green one we have is so called bearing so we have friction and we have so what difference between upper one and lower one the difference is that if we take if we treat our foundation to be the foundation we have to calculate for the friction and this one also we have friction and we have the bearing this one has only the bearing even though they have the friction around here but the magnitude is not quite high so we neglect if we treat our foundation to be shallow foundation the shallow foundation is the one that you will study before midterm exam after midterm exam you will study for the deep foundation from Dr. Poincasset the really famous structure or the foundation is the leaning tower of Pisa when they start to construct about halfway here they found that they have the sediment of this at this point, point the right the, the right side is more than the left side so they try to collect it so they try to sew it so they construct something like that the the tower will be bending in this way so you can see the actual one you can see the tower will be bending this one little bit and after that it cannot solve the problem the the, the tower still move into this way the angle of the, the, the incline increased before they they repair it the angle is about 5 degree and increment every year and after that if we didn't provide any kind of, of the solution or we, we didn't repair for this tower it might be failure so how can they repair before they repair they have to come back to see and we ask you one question is that what is the type of the foundation of this tower you can see it here the foundation is shallow foundation the foundation of this one is a shallow foundation and create really high sentiment when they would like to repair it's quite straightforward they have the professor from the Indian college they come here okay and they propose the method to repair how can we repair they just remove the soil below this they just they have the fry auger sorry the fry auger and rotate and remove the soil to this way remove the soil when you remove the soil the leaning tower will go back until they until they satisfy maybe it's not come back to the vertical they just okay they just say, say that okay now is the they when they repair it they remove the soil at this side you have to monitor what's going on about your tower and right now the they correct the problem already now the leaning tower of pizza is stopped to move and have some stability so we go to the next part this one is the most famous structure the name of this one is the tallest building in the world it's so called it's called Burj Khalifa Burj Khalifa the composed of the podium is the low rise is the Dubai mall and have the tower around here the foundation of this bird Khalifa is something like this and the load on the foundation of this this building is quite high so they intend to use the so-called deep foundation they use the pie foundation the tower is placed on about 3.7 thick rough foundation the 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 rough foundation is about three meter and the ball pie is about one 
194 ball pies the diameter about 1.5 meter the the depth of the ball pie is about 47.5 it's, it's actually same it's same as the ball pie of Bangkok area and the rough foundation of the podium is thickness is about 0.65 meter it's composed of the the other 700 ball pies this one is the the time timeline now they finish to construct the foundation and and this one they take the picture for the birds Khalifa and the foundation is something like this composed of the a lot of pie penetrate to the bedrock the subsurface of this building is something like this from one to three meter they compose of the marine deposit marine deposit in this area is a loose sand and after that they have the layer of sandstone and sandstone okay and some area they have concomitant the, the 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 difference between sandstone sandstone is made with sand concomitant is is made with maybe of the small is a it is the gravel small gravel and they have the siltstone also and the pie foundation of this building will extend up to about this time so that means it will extend into the rock so they have to make the hole first and after that they place the steel so that they cast the concrete on This one is so called ball pie. So the load of this pie is something like this. It's if you increase the load up to about 60,000 kilonewton, the formation is about 15 millimeters. This one is quite high compared to Bangkok maybe two times because the pie is placed on the sandstone and they have to create really high bearing, bearing of the pie also high friction also compared to our soil in Bangkok area the last one sorry it's not the last one the third topic is about the wall this one is the sheet pie wall and they have the earth pressure on the sheet pie we have to decide to calculate for the stability of the sheet pie this one they have the anchorage here anchorage the anchorage will extend into the soil so this one is a sheet pie with anchorage so tell us we will teach you how can you decide about this what is the property of anchorage what how can you calculate for bending moment of your sheet pie and the last topic of foundation engineering is talking about how can we improve the ground. Somehow, if we use a, a lot, of, we have the large area, we use a lot of foundation. It's quite expensive. The alternate, the alternative way is to improve the ground. This one improve the ground by drop the weight on the ground. It's so called dynamic convection. Dynamic compaction here maybe you can see is quite is quite similar to you have done it before for the compaction test. And after you compact the side the sand around this area, you increase the density and the strength will increase also. It's not only this method, we have the other method also to improve the ground, such as we inject some of cement into the ground. It form like cement column. Doctor Fang the same will teach you. After this, they will give you one assignment in LEB two. Your assignment is something like this. You just made it for me about one page of presentation of one case. You just find the internet and tell me. Okay, I have this kind of building. 
what is the foundation of the building if the if it's the shallow shallow foundation what is the thickness of the foundation what's going on about the detail of the foundation if you if in your case if your case is pi foundation what is the diameter of the pi what is the length of the pi just submit it to me i i let you about one week to submit it's about two or three percent of the score okay for the this week we have only one lecture for next week we will be talking about subsequent investigation